Welcome to Hands-On Equations Part 1, where we're going to get your kid learning how to solve algebraic equations without having to memorize steps that don't make any sense. If something like this seems hard to a nine-year-old, it generally is, but after using hands-on equations, it won't seem that hard. The first thing to do is to learn the moves that are allowed on the hands-on equation balance. So this is a whole number cube. This pawn represents the variable that we're going to be working with. And a little bit forward looking, this pawn represents the opposite of this one. So these are the opposite of each other. The same way that these two dice are also opposite each other. So here's a typical setup with uh, an equation that comes from the worksheets that you get in PDF form if you purchase the program through hands-on equations. I think it's like $45 for the entire program, which is a really good deal to get your kids comfortable with algebra for years and years on end so that you won't have to help them in middle school when they get to these kinds of problems because they'll know it. So this shows two blue pawns and e equals 10. This is the middle of the balance right here. And you can show it's, it says X right away. So we know the X is the blue pawn. So these two blue pawns have to sum up to 10. And for each problem, each blue pawn is worth the same amount. So this has to be 5 and 5. So because we know that 5 plus 5 equals 10. So the first real idea here is just that, whoops, not 100, just 10, that there's balance. Right, and any equation has balance. Problem number two shows pawn plus two equals nine, and I have it set up here on the board. Before I go there, the check over here is where you would just you would plug in the fact that five plus five is ten. So here you just write ten equals ten, and that's the check. That's the balance. So back to pawn plus 2 equals 9, x equals something, the pawn equals something, and then there's a check. So the very first rule of hands-on equations is you can remove the same amount from both sides. So, and this is a balance. I have 2 here and 9 here. I can remove 2 from both sides, and it stays in balance. So my 2 becomes 0, my 9 becomes 7, so I'm left with the pawn, which is x, must equal 7. And so to put back the check, if I put back the 2, the check is 7 plus 2 equals, it was 9, that's the 6, but 9. So 9 equals 9. 